All right, everybody, Coach Gill, go to movement.com, glsgoda.com. Uh, brick and mortar facility in Murrow, Louisiana, and go to movement.com is the movement intellectual property that we've created. So if you want to become an elite locomotive coach and uh, have your athletes be uh, endurance durable and injury resistant with freak like locomotive um, fluidity and explosives certifications twice a year uh next one will be in december so uh so here's go to movement versus woe to movement so go to movement is athletic movement that starts at the ground level so without great feet nothing else matters you just become an injury prone goofy version of yourself so and and, and this is how we we land um, we teach our athletes to land. So notice that the inside ankle bone, the sock line is higher on the inside than the outside. That means the inside ankle bone is higher on the inside than the outside. And that's flawless level 10 laxion. Then we're going to go to the right leg because sometimes people have go to, go to feet on one side and woe to feet on the other. And for those of you who don't know, woe to feet are feet that are associated with injury proneness, Achilles ruptures, and ACL tear. So in essence is what we have here is a level 10 left foot and about a level 7 right foot, only because I see this little break here. Now, so and then let's, let's go back to what we call woe to feet. And so rotor feet works like this. The athlete comes down. The athlete comes down, and the inside ankle bones take a, 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 a really, 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 really collapsible beating. So let me just show you that. Everything looks good here, right? The sock lines are level. Looks like she's going to make a go to drop in, but. And then there, there's the woe to drop in. So now notice not a sock line. The inside ankle bones are low. And that causes the injury proneness, or what we call the goofiness. And this is kind of like what happens whenever you start to s promote this in training. The athlete doesn't know what to do because the nervous system do doesn't know what to do. So she loads the wrong foot with the weight. So you always want to load the foot that your head is over. So her head's over here. But she loads this foot. And then what you just saw there was an Achilles rupture. And that's what happens when you drop in is faulty. So in go to the drop in is when the leg lands, the inside ankle bone stays high. When this leg landed, that inside ankle bone dropped. Notice we call this frame by frame drop in score. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's about eleven frames of drop in and, and right on about the eighth frame, the Achilles ruptured. And man, you just do not want to do this. You want to do it this way. Watch this action. One frame of drop, that's it. One frame of drop on the left, which world-class people sometimes will drop one frame. Super goat is never a drop. And for her, I would just worry about the right leg, but their left leg is flawless. So, Coach Gill, injury update. Go to movement.com and glsgota.com.